So we're back here again with the most interesting man at Forbes magazine, Steve Bertoni. Steve Bertoni usually is on the uh, rich and famous beat. He does, uh, you know, plays golf with billionaires. He plays poker with billionaires. But for this latest story, he's veered into something a little bit different. He went down to the poorest region in the United States with the uh, Forbes 400 member of John Paul DeJoria uh, to work with DeJoria and DeJoria's uh, philanthropy. So first of all, tell us a little bit about John Paul DeJoria. How did he make his money? What's his story? John Paul DeJoria is a self-made billionaire two times over. He has two multi-billion dollar companies. It's a very, very entrepreneurial guy. Very entrepreneurial guy, started from scratch. He's a hard worker, did it all himself. He uh, met up in 1980 with Paul Mitchell and they formed John Paul Mitchell Systems. They started with $700 and it grew and now it has um, revenue of about $900 million a year. Um, on top of that, he started Patron Tequila kind of as like a hobby in 1989 and that sold about two million cases last year. So John Paul DeJoria runs this, this charity and, it, and it, it's not just a, he doesn't go down there just giving out handouts. T tell us a little bit about what he does. It's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, so his charity is called Grow Appalachia. Okay. Um, one of his vice presidents is from Appalachia and was talking to him about kind of this trap of poverty. So to feed people, he doesn't hand out food. He hands out shovels and seeds and says, get to work. Right. I'll give you the tools and the skills to grow the food but I'm not going to give you the food. So, and these volunteers go in and they teach him what to plant, how to plant. Right now our progress has been we have planted the first hundred gardens, some for individuals, some for whole communities. And off the first planting last spring, we're looking at feeding no less than 2,700 people this year. I put a few more hundred thousand dollars into it this year to now let's expand it out. And if the uh, the scale continues to be as efficient as it is right now, then I'll put a whole bunch more in. The goal would be, if this works the way I'd like it to, within five to seven years, half of Appalachia is feeding itself off its own gardens. And we ask that those participants, once they learn how to do it, teach three more families how to do it. And I'll pay for the seeds and the fertilizer, and we'll share the tools, or I'll give them new tools. And by doing this, they kind of pay it forward also. So last month, you actually went down there with John Paul. So, so, so paint, you, you went to Kentucky? Yes. So paint the picture for us. I mean, what, what does it look like? How poor is it? What is the, give us a little bit of the scenery. Yeah, I went down to Kentucky on Derby weekend and everyone's like, are you going to the Derby? I'm right. like, no, no, I'm going somewhere a little different. The opposite, pretty much. Um, uh, it's funny, because I, I land in Lexington, which is a gorgeous town, mm -hmm. um, all the horse farms, the university and stuff. And then you drive about two hours south to Harlan County. And it's really pretty, it's really green, but it's just extremely rural, there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And so they had a garden behind the church John Paul showed up, um, landed in his private jet, his private uh, Hawker 1000, but he might as well have landed in a, in a UFO <laughs> because you have, you know, he's the, he's the Paul Mitchell guy. He's got, right. his, he's got his ponytail, his goatee, he's wearing a tuxedo jacket. Right. These designer jeans. Designer jeans. Yeah. He was wearing these special white keds that a student of his made and stuff. And, but, you know, he was great with them. He, he loved what he saw. Families came out, gave him picnic baskets of food that they grew and canned themselves. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he even rode a tractor. It was great, then he got back on his jet and he was so happy with it, he pledged another half a million dollars. Wow. That's cool, it's a really cool way to do philanthropy, I think, it's, you know, do by doing. Exactly. Um, He's helping people help themselves.